Ring of Honor from last Monday night, and this episode was produced before the Big Bang pay-per-view. I suppose uh, Ring of Honor has got to do whatever they can regarding TV tapings, and I suppose they probably tape two or three weeks in advance, and this week it certainly did show uh, a lot of the matches sort of still building to the pay-per-view, which in fact had already happened by the time the episode aired, and this week Steve Carino took on Bobby Shields. Now, both guys shook hands at the beginning, with Carino doing a bit of trash talking. Shields launched a series of arm drags and drop kicks, a real fast mover, kind of a bleach blonde surfer gimmick, and indeed reminded me of a lot of competitors from the past. Carino won this match, at which point he called out Colt Cabana, who came out to the ring. Oh, old Colt, delivering the goods as always. Uh, I quite like uh, Steve Carino too. I think it's it's good to see him back around, and uh, he can still work it definitely. And he's in a good position with a company like Ring of Honor. I mean, you know, I don't think anyone else would probably take him at this stage. No offense to you, uh, Steve Carino, but um, yeah, I think he he's cool. And uh, I think um, going forward, uh, it's kind of funny the way they you kind of you know after seeing the the Big Bang pay per view and. Then you kind of go a little bit backwards with the TV thing. It's hard for them to work it, I'm sure. But uh, once you get a head, your head around it, I'm sure, you know. They certainly did a good job of letting you know that it was produced before the Big Bang. They said it no, numerous times. They didn't try and pass it off. And I just thought perhaps it was kind of a bit strange that the Briscoes had the belts again. I mean, if they were going to lose those belts, but then you've got to keep the TV audience that was there that night happy. They suddenly can't come out without the belts, or maybe they could have done that, but perhaps the decision wasn't made at that point. I mean, the Briscoes lost those tag belts at the Big Bang pay-per-view. Now, the Dark City Fight Club, they came out, again, an excellent, legit tag team, squashing that jobber team of the set. Yeah, I mean, the set is pretty funny to look at, I have to admit. Um, the best thing about uh, these guys is that it's genuine, you know, it feels like a real tag team, unlike a lot of the other tag teams in Ring of Honor. Like, you know, the Briscoes are a legit badass tag team, and so much more convinc convincing than you know your Dude Busters or your Heart Dynasty. You know, uh, or the team of r Truth and John Morrison, who made a stunning uh, debut match here on WrestleMania, just gone. <clears throat> but yeah, these guys, it's legit, and. Um, you, I think uh, WWE are, are have acknowledged the tag team situation because it seems like it's stepped up this week across all borders of their programming. Sorry to drift back to the WWE, but that's my thought on it. But these guys are a legit tag team and uh, a, <laughs> a funny squash match, if anything, but uh, it gets them over. So good job, John. We had a recap of Jerry Lynn's retirement angle over the recent months. And we saw a lot of video highlights of Jerry Lynn's last few weeks and months in Ring of Honor. And indeed, now the announcement that Jerry Lynn is coming back to Ring of Honor next Monday night. So tomorrow night, we're going to see Jerry Lynn back in Ring of Honor. I thought Jerry Lynn was fantastic in TNA. That was the main time that I saw him work. And he was always over with the fans. Certainly kind of an RVD type guy he's got that overness and i certainly don't know anything about whether he was ever in wwe i mean was he yeah he was in wwe for a bit um i think the thing with jerry lynn he's the real wrestler's wrestler the underdog and the kind of position that uh someone like shelton benjamin could take if he was to jump ship as charlie is telling him to do constantly to any of those tna or ring of, ring of honor and be a top guy and really get the credit he deserves. And I think that's why Jerry Lynn feels happy in a place like Ring of Honor and to be up on top of the card in that main event mix. And uh, by all means, I think it's a great thing having him come back. I really like Jerry Lynn. He's cool. Jerry Lynn is a veteran and he is somebody who can work really well and he can certainly teach those young guys a lot. And perhaps that's also the role Jerry's coming back to. Certainly a lot of the guys who've been around the block, who are veterans, they often come back as road agents and do their best to help the young guys while working. So we get a double bargain from the likes of uh, Jerry Lynn coming to Ring of Honor. Yeah, it works for everybody. And those kind of pairings of old school wrestling minds with Cornette and him, 
even Carino, it'll just better the product for all those young guys and even the even the jobbers that are coming in and getting squashed. You know, I mean, you're in good safe hands with with people like that. I think compared to some of the politics you're going to deal with in WWE and maybe do one dark match, get squashed, and never see him again. You know. I hope he has a good position. I hope they're going to put him in that belt title run. The World Television Title Tournament, of course, also a big part of Ring of Honor. And that now winding to a close. We're getting on to semi-final territory as we eventually find out who's going to win this belt. And indeed, Kevin Steen takes on Eddie Edwards next Monday with Davey Richards taking on Kenny King, a rematch from that Big Bang pay-per-view uh, coming up uh, two weeks from Monday. And indeed, the Kevin Steen v. Eddie Edwards is this coming week. So the matches are sort of laid out now, and we're going to have a new world television title holder soon. Yeah, I'm excited about both of these matches because there's one thing that's missing from a lot of stuff. When, when you think about, like, oh, next, next week's Raw has got Hasselhoff on it, and it's got... You know, a tag team main event with Cena and Batista against, you know, and it's SmackDown's got the title picture for the world title with Jericho and Edge and who's going to, ch you know, challenge Swagger and Snowfest. But uh, when you have these matches with these guys like Steen and uh, King and you know, they're just, I get excited about the fact that these are just going to be good wrestling matches and there's no real shit, I suppose. To, to do to have to deal with and and you're gonna have a new TV champion it's gonna probably be a really good one too yeah they have a good handle on the promo style they don't overuse promos or vignettes they place them properly where they are well used I mean the Roderick Strong Tyler Black Austin Aries promos were fantastic they built that match almost single-handedly certainly the actions in the arena building the promos but the way they put them together, and indeed the sound bites used, really put that angle right on over. And it's going to be interesting to see now what that title situation will be in the coming months. We had Eric Stevens representing the embassy with Prince Nana. They took on Pele Primo. Necro Butcher is not allowed to be on TV, apparently, according to rules laid down by Ring of Honor management. Uh, that, of course, a work. But uh, Pelo Primo flying around the ring uh, like a lost member of the Young Bucks, this guy. And indeed, he uh, certainly has a lot of talent. Yeah, he's a, he's a fast mover and incredible to watch. Um, it's, it's guys like this that you want to see in the mix. And would really work well in X, the X Division too, if the X Division wasn't buried at the moment. Um, and uh, it's that kind of wrestling I think a lot of people want to see. And not just this stale dead promos with a dead crowd and you know it's just sucky shit over on smackdown and and raw with that kind of stuff but um yeah i think uh this fast-paced action yeah it certainly keeps me entertained anyway yes indeed it's entertaining always ring of honor always with good matches always with talented performers and indeed lots to really get excited about when you tune into a ring of honor show not just a work but genuine good performances out of everyone now uh, pele primo of course taking on necro or at least uh, necro butcher came in at the end of the match uh, pele primo versus eric stevens it was interesting uh, with stevens beating primo with the doctor bomb the embassy then putting the beat down on him uh, Necro Butcher came in and took a chair to everyone. Now, I want to let you know that it is ROHWrestling.com. Certainly check that out, and you can find out all the information about the show. I know a lot of people have contacted us and said, well, Ring of Honor isn't on over here. Certainly in Ireland, that's the case also. I know that people uh, have wanted Ring of Honor on television in this part of the world for a long time, but in a long while now we've hadn't had it of course it was on the wrestling channel at one point but certainly there is somebody somewhere missing a trick there because that show would probably not be that expensive to purchase and with wrestling getting hotter by the day now with tna on bravo pulling in those audiences and raw on sky sports doing very well at this side of the pond it's a huge market over here